friends. Today's book is a busy year and boy, woo -wee, have we had a busy year at school this year. It was the first day of January and for the twins, it was their first walk in the winter snow. Look, said Willie, a snow mouse. He's holding a broom, said Winnie. But then they heard a voice, I'm not a broom, I'm a Woody the tree. The twins could not believe their ears. A talking tree. When they returned a few weeks later, it was already February and the snow mouse was melting away, but the tree was still there. What have you two been up to, she asked. The twins told Woody about the McBarney barn where they lived and about the cows and the horses and the chickens who lived there too. In March, the rain and the wind never seemed to stop, but the twins went to see Woody just the same. She had become their friend. All this rain is fine, she said. I need it, and soon it will be spring. I'm excited. I feel my buds. And indeed, when April came, Woody's branches were full of buds. How do you know which ones will be the blossoms and which ones the leaves, Winnie wondered. To her, they all look the same. Oh, Woody, you're beautiful, said the twins when they returned in May. Yes, said Woody, her branches heavy with blossoms and leaves. May is my month. It was warm and the three friends talked and played all day. On the way home, Willie said, it's a shame that Willie cannot run. You look sad said the twins when they saw Woody again. Do you not like June in the summertime? I do, said Woody, but people are careless with cigarettes and campfires, and many trees die in the flames, and I cannot run. The twins looked at each other. Don't worry, Woody, we'll protect you. They said this as they ran back to the barn to find a hose and water. It was July when one morning Winnie and Willie heard screams, help, help, fire. It was Woody. They enrolled the hose as fast as they could and the flames had almost reached their friend, but the twins arrived just in time. Whoo -wee. Winnie, Willie, how can I ever, ever thank you? Said Woody so gratefully. August was vacation month. The twins went to the seashore with their parents, but first they went to say goodbye to Woody. Woody was sound asleep. Let's not wake her, Willie said. They hung a note from her bark and it said, going to the shore, goodbye, Woody. When they returned in September, Woody's branches were full of fragrant, juicy fruit. How busy you've been, the twins said, ex exclaimed. Take as many as you want, said Woody, and the twins ate till their bellies were full. Nothing had ever tasted so good. October arrived. Autumn was almost gone and winter was coming closer. Icy winds blew Woody's leaves away. Oh, poor Woody, said the twins. It's okay, said Woody. Next year I'll have new leaves. You'll see. The leaves are falling oh so gently, right friends? The tree was bare now. It's November already, Willie whispered. What shall we give Woody for Christmas? Oh, she deserves the best, said Winnie. I shall give her a nice piece of cheese. Willie looked at her with dismay. Cheese? Tre trees do not eat cheese. Oh, I know, said Winnie laughing, but it's a thought that counts. favorite page. You know I love Christmas and Santa and I love favorite pages and stories and this is the one. Wait, you see it. You're going to love it. December came and then it was Christmas and Winnie stepped forward to give Woody her present. What is it? Asked Willie. Manure, said Winnie triumphantly. Do you know what manure is? It's on the farm. It's poo. <clears throat> Disgusting. 
disgusting, said Willie, but Woody laughed. Fertilizer is just what I need, and she meant it. Then it was Willie's turn. His box was full of bulbs and flow flower seeds to plant around the tree. Woody thanked her two friends. Merry Christmas, they all shouted together. They were happy and ready for another busy year. See, it's my favorite page. I'm so sad it's over. And we all say the end.